Thank you for using Pediatric Supplier for all your pediatric and adult nebulizer, medical equipment, and supply needs. We appreciate your business. Pediatric Supplier is accredited and certified by the following. Gold Seal, the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Healthcare Organizations. NMSDC, Certified National Minority Supplier Development Council. VOSB, Department of Veteran Affairs. Cage Code 5DZ29. OSD State of Florida, Management Services. State of Florida Minority Women in Florida Business Certification. If your physician has recommended taking a respiratory medication, please watch this video for instructions on how to properly use it. Compressor nebulizer systems provide air pressure that works with your nebulizer cup to turn liquid medications into a fine mist. This allows the medication to go directly into your lungs. Always wash your hands before setting up your nebulizer. Set up your nebulizer on a hard surface such as the table or countertop. Plug your nebulizer into an electrical outlet. Make sure the vents on either side of the unit are not blocked to allow necessary airflow into the compressor. Connect one end of the tube into your compressor and the other end of the tube into the bottom of the medication cup. Open your medication cup by twisting the lid and add the medication prescribed by your healthcare provider. Make sure you add the medication along the side and not down the center of the cup. Replace the top on the medication cup. Then connect either a mouthpiece or mask attachment to the medication cup. Do not lay the medication cup on the side. This will cause medication to spill. You are now ready to begin your treatment. To begin your treatment, turn the power switch to the on position. The nebulizer will turn the medication into a mist. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Be sure to sit upright and remain relaxed. It's important to breathe through your mouth and not through your nose. This will ensure the medication is getting into your lungs. Take two or three slow, deep breaths in between each normal breath. If you must stop before completing the entire treatment, turn off the compressor. Depending on the type of nebulizer you have, a treatment time will take anywhere from 8 to 15 minutes. You will notice a sputtering sound and will no longer be able to see the mist when the treatment is complete. It is okay if there are a few drops of medicine still in the cup. When your treatment is complete, turn off your compressor by turning the power switch to the off position. Then unplug the unit. The medication cup mouthpiece and mask need to be cleaned between each treatment. Disconnect the mask and any other patient accessory interface and disassemble the medication cup. These pieces can be simply cleaned by using one part distilled white vinegar and three parts warm water. Do not clean or rinse the tubing. Rinse all of the components with warm water and lay aside to air dry away from direct sunlight. Remember to check your nebulizer's air filters often. Change out the filter regularly depending on how many treatments you do each day. And dirty filter water will affect the efficiency of your treatment and the lifetime of your compressor. Keep in mind that these instructions are compatible with any of the pediatric suppliers, nebulizers, adult or pediatric. If you have any questions, please visit our website or call us toll free at one 866-380-3484.